Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an everyday makeup tutorial for you all. This is just my actual, no, if I can speak. <laughs> this is just my natural everyday makeup look. Um, natural, obviously I still put a lot of makeup on my face, like foundation and stuff, but this is not like my more glam makeup. This is just like mascara and not really much eyeshadow or anything. So if you're interested in seeing what makeup products I use on a daily basis, then just carry on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows because I don't really, I don't think my eyebrows are anything special anyway, and I thought I'd struggle to do them on camera. But I'll show you what I use for them. So basically, all I use for my eyebrows is I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in shade Top. I just think this is really good colour when, like, obviously I'm not a natural blonde, but I've got like like a like a my hair's not really bright blonde, and obviously I have my roots through coming through and stuff. So I just think this matches like my my hair perfectly really because I've not got light eyebrows either and then to carve them out I just use the P. Louise base and I've got this in shade O2 I use this as like it's I know it's an eyeshadow base but so I usually use it to carve out my eyebrows and then when I'm doing like more like heavy eyeshadow looks I'll use this as an eyeshadow base as well and, and then to actually just draw my eyebrows on I use the Zoeva brush in 322 and then I have this little eco tools brush which I just use to like conceal and carve out. I've also already put on um, some Nivea moisturiser this is just the this is literally like one pound or two quid and it's just literally for face bodies hands and I just use it just it's like a primer because I don't use primer I just use a moisturiser because um, I, I do have quite oily skin but um, I also have little dry patches, you know, when you get like spots and stuff. So I like to moisturise before I put any makeup on. So for foundation, I always, I use one or two. So I either use the Huda Beauty Four Filter Foundation in the shade Latte 300N. This is my fake tan colour. So obviously I wear fake tan most of the time, to be honest. So, but I usually use this more for nights out. I don't use this more for my everyday makeup. So today. I'm using the um, Morphe um, Fluidity Foundation. I really, really like this. I only discovered this at the end of last year and it's so good. Um, it's like a matte foundation, but it doesn't leave your skin like dry looking or anything. So it's good if you've got oily skin, but I honestly think people with dry skin could use this as well because it doesn't cling to like any dry bits on your face, but it also doesn't get oily throughout the day. And it lasts under like face masks and everything. And it's really reasonably priced. Quite often they have it on sale for like £8, which compared to like the Huda Beauty, which is like £32, I mean, a lot of difference in price. Um, I've just got this in the shade F270, but I actually do have this in a lighter colour as well um, for like my normal natural skin colour. I can't remember what shade I've got that in, but today I'm using shade F270. So I always just put a little bit on the back of my hand. You don't need much of this really because it is quite full coverage. And then I just get my Zoeva Rose Gold brush in the 114 Lux Face Focus brush. This is a bit, you know when you use foundation brushes and they get all like clagged up and even when like you wash them, they still get, um, still can't get all the foundation off them which is annoying but I'm just gonna use this mirror. if I'm not looking I'm sorry I'm just I might speed up sections of this just so you don't actually have to see me put like my whole makeup on so I just block bits around my face with this brush and then what I do is I get my I used to use I used to live and breathe beauty blenders but I got this brush as like a set for Christmas and I've been converted to foundation brushes now so this is just the Zoeva one or two silk finish foundation brush and it's amazing it just blends your makeup so oh sorry I've had like the mirror in the way it blends your makeup so well I always make sure to like blend it down my neck a bit so all matches. But as you can see I do have like a few like red marks from like spot scars. I've had a few breakouts recently due to like face masks and stuff. I never had bad skin before this like last year 
and the face masks just break me out. That is my foundation pretty much done. Um, bring my hair back forward again so I don't look bald. <laughs> um, so now I just put a little bit of concealer on. Sometimes I do actually do my concealer before because it is quite a light one I've got at the moment. I use the Morphe concealer, but I actually ordered I ordered this online. I accidentally ordered the wrong shade. I had the darker shade, and this is a bit too light to be honest. So I literally put the tiniest amount just. You know some people do like big triangles. I literally just put two dots here and then here. And that's all I put on. I don't, obviously, because it's this colour, you couldn't use this to conceal spots or anything. It, that would like emphasize your spots if you use that. Because obviously it's, I just use it to highlight, basically, and to cover my bags under my eyes. So I used the, um, uh, it's another Zoe Eva brush. I use the 142 concealer brush. And um, this is really good to just blend out the concealer under your eyes. And I do I do blend it out in a bit of like a triangle shape. But instead of putting like, I think the mistake a lot of some people do make is putting too much concealer under their eyes and making it look like really white. I mean, some people might like that look, but for me I like it more natural <laughs> looking and then I take this bit of concealer and I bring it upwards so just to make my eyes look um, I'm not sure if it actually works I just saw it a trick once I remember once it just bring it up to make your eyes look more open and I then just sweep it across my eyelids as well just blend it out and see how like well it's blended out and you can just see the difference um, it's just brightened up my face a little bit. Honestly, I feel like I've got like bags of like a hundred year old woman. Like honestly, I think concealer makes a huge difference. Like I go from looking like the walking dead to actually looking alive. <laughs> So that, now that I'm looking a bit less dead, I then go in with some powder. So the powder I use, I actually use two powders. So I use two powder brushes and I use two lots of powders. So the first powder I use is a very like budget friendly. It's the Maybelline Matte Maker. This is about three pounds. Um, I use it in the shade Classic Ivory. And I use this to set my whole face. And I, I use the Zoeva... Uh, 103 defined buffer block brush so I'll just buff this all in my face I always, I also do this like puffer fish face to get your smart smile lines. I'm not sure if it actually works or not, but I feel like it does. Cause I, it must be cause I smile a lot. I always, my makeup always creases in my smile lines. <laughs> um, so that's me set with that powder. And then what I also do is I go in with this hourglass ambient lighting palette now this is a bit pricey i've treated myself to this in january after christmas but um it's such a gorgeous 
I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. It's absolutely gorgeous, this palette, and I do think it's worth the money. It's, I think it's about £80, so yeah, it is a bit pricey. But I just absolutely love Hourglass products, I think they're amazing. So what I do is, I go in with the middle shade, number two, which is a finish powder, finishing powder diffuse light, and it's like a white colour. So I'll just literally put this under my eyes and on my eyelids. Just to like doubly set my concealer under my eyes and just lighten under my eyes a little bit. And then what I like to do, I like to go in with number one, which is a finishing powder dim light. And it's like more of like a pinky colour to it, and I literally just take this, dot it all over my face. Just not not a lot, but um, just to like this one has a bit of like a glow to it, so it stops you making your face look like completely matte. And I'm, sorry, the brush I'm using for this is a Zoeva 104 buffer brush. So that's my powder done. This brush has literally saved my, it's changed my makeup routine completely. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a one, Zoeva 110 face shape brush and this is amazing for contouring. It's amazing. So I use this ambient lighting palette again, the hourglass one, and I go in with the bronzer. This bronzer is amazing. Once this palette runs out, I'm going to have to buy the full size bronzer. Um, and it's just the number four on the palette, Bronzer Natural Bronze Light. And it gives, it's this bronzer, but it gives you this gorgeous like glow. It's amazing. So I just go in, it's quite, um, it's quite pigmented, so I just tap, tap, tap. And then what I do, I pull like a sucker fish face when I contour. Like this, and I just go in. I mean, I'm not, not a professional makeup artist or anything, so people will be watching this and think she's doing this completely wrong but this is just what works for me And as you can see, it just, I just go in circular motions with the brush and it just blends out the bronzer really nicely. Like I do like quite a strong contour. Um, so some people might think this looks a bit too um, too much, but for me, I think it looks, just how I want it. I like like a nice tanned face. So then I just go in, do the same with the other side. And that's how easy it is just to go into it. Um, I then go in with this brush, which is the 106 powder brush. This is actually a powder brush, but I like to use this to bronze the rest of my face. So I go back in with that same bronzer, just tap it in lightly, and then I just um, bronze like over my forehead and um, just like lightly over the rest of my face. I also like to take a bit of bronzer down the down my neck. And then last bit to do with like bronzer and contouring is I get the same contouring brush I used before, the 110, and I just go down my nose lightly. I go through phases of contouring and not contouring my nose to be honest. Um I don't know whether sometimes it I don't know. But at the moment, I've been just liking contouring my nose. So I just lightly take it down the centre and then bring it to through like the socket in my eye. And then I do the other side. That's not your socket of your eye, but you know what I mean. And 
there's just a tip of my nose. I know this isn't a very good, like, specific way of contouring, and I'm probably doing it completely wrong, but it's just what works for me, I find. And then I go back in with my powder brush, and I just use what's ever left over on my powder brush just to, like, blend out that contour so it's not as harsh on my nose. So that's my nose contour and bronzer done. Next up is a new product I've actually got. And I've only, so I've only used this a couple of times, but I've been loving it. It's the um, Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is like a liquid blush. In, and, oh sorry, I got it in the shame, shade Peach Gasm. And what I do, I literally put the tiniest amount, it's a twisty top. When I first got this, I was like squeezing it really hard. I was like, what's happening up in someone out? I and mean, I realized it's like, you have to lock, unlock it. So then I squeeze it a tiny bit and then lock it again. And then what I do is, I just put a few dots up my cheek. And then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. You can like see the glow on my cheek. It just gives you like this gorgeous like peachy glow and gives you a bit of color to your face. So then I go in with the other side. I just like the glow it gives to my face. And then after that, I use another liquid product. I go in with the um, Iconic London, the Iconic London Illuminator Drops in the shade, oh, this is just the original shade. And what I do, I squeeze it all out, so it's not loads, and then I just put three drops, three dots on my cheekbone. And then just get then again, get my, I do it, blend it out a little bit with my finger first and then use my beauty blender. You only need a tiny amount of these because they are very like pigmented. And then I just go in with my beauty blender again and just blend them out. gives you this really nice glow. Everyone likes to be a bit glowy in the summer especially. Then just three dots on the other side and blend it out the same. And then I just get whatever is like left of the sponge and just go on the tip of my nose. They don't like um, too glowy of a nose. Apparently, if you put too much highlighter on your nose, on your nose it emphasizes like your blackheads. Because I mean, everyone gets blackheads for every now and again, so I don't like putting too much. A few different brushes I've been liking recently. There's been a Milani one I've been really liking, and um, I like the Nars one. I can't remember the name of it now. You know which one I mean. And um, I also really like the. Two Faced like Love Heart brushes, but the ones I've been loving recently again are Hourglass. So I've got the Hourglass brush blush in the shade Mood Exposure, and then I also like the ones that the Ambulant Lighting Palette, like there's a nice pinky one, and like a so in the shades, um. By Vibrant Flush, and then that this one's actually this mood exposure. It's the same shade as the big blush I've got. So I'm just going to use um, the one out of this palette, but that's also the same as 
the big blush I've got because I got this before I got the palette. And then I just take the 128 Cream Cheeks Weaver brush and just tap it in the blusher. Do my sucky fish face again <laughs> and then just bring it up my cheeks. I like quite a lot of blusher. Yeah. And I like to put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. For my eyes, um, I like to, I've been liking a couple of different eyeshadows recently. I mean, I've got loads and loads of eyeshadow palettes, um, but for everyday makeup, I don't really, if I don't put any on, or I only put like really light eyeshadow. I've been loving the Huda Beauty Naughty palette. Um, you can see the shades here. They've got some really gorgeous shades. Um, I've been loving like using like the more like lighter browning colours. And I've also been loving the Beauty Blair 42 colour palette in Origin, the Origin palette. And as you can see there's loads of really nice mixture of like neutral tones in there. Um, so I'm actually today though, I'm not going to use either of them I don't think. I'm just literally going to take um, my bronzer that I've been using and get my contouring brush back out again like some days I do get my eyeshadow brushes and do like a little light natural eyeshadow look but today I'm feeling just bronzer through the eyelid so I literally get my contour brush the big, the big one get my bronzer and literally swipe it through my eyelid You may be thinking, what the hell is she doing using like a contour brush to put eyeshadow on? But it's literally just, it's that like no eyeshadow eyeshadow look like, it just gives your eyelids a bit of cool, like colour. <laughs> that sounds really silly, but without actually going to the effort of actually putting eyeshadow on. So that's literally all I do. And sometimes I like to get um, one of the shades out of my eyeshadow palettes so I'm going to use the flower power shade here in the huge beauty naughty palette just my two three four look smoky shades as a weaver brush and I'll just put a little bit of that shade flower power just on my eyelid just for a little bit of sparkle Like I say, I do sometimes do like more out there eyeshadow looks. Um, so I can do another video doing like a glam makeup look if people wanted that. But I've had a lot of people ask me just to do like my everyday natural makeup. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I just get like a highlighted shade out of the Beauty Bay palette. Just use this one here. And just highlight the brow bone. I sometimes put a little bit of that in the corner of my eyes. And that's pretty much all I'm doing today. And then I like to use my eyeliner. I just use the Rimmel Glam Eyes. Um, I'm not sure how easily I'm going to be able to do this on camera. So I might have to go and come back, but I'll try. And um, the Rimmel Glam Eyes, this is really good. It's like just a liquid eyeliner. It's got a really thin brush. 
I'll try and do this on camera, but like I say, I might struggle. Um, but I'll try my best. So like I say, not the neatest eyeliner I've ever done, but it's be that's the best we're going to get on camera. Because I usually like to lean on my table, uh, you know, like lean your shoulder down and do it. And quite often I'll get my concealer, the brush I used to carve out my eyebrows, um, just like sometimes just to neaten up the wing a little bit, I'll just go along and like just swipe it up just to neaten it up, the liner. I don't always wear wing liner, but quite often if I do a more natural eye look, I like to just put my wing liner on. Then I am gonna go do my highlighter now. So the highlighters I've been loving. I love the Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. Really, really like this, but quite often prefer to use this more on like a night out makeup look. So um, that is really nice. I do really like this. But again, I'm going, I'm going back to the hourglass palette and taking the I feel like this has got a nice and natural everyday highlighter and it's just um straw powder and glistening straw blight and I'll just get my Zoeva Looks Fan 129 brush and just swipe it across like I said this is nice just for like everyday obviously I've already done the um iconic London illuminator drop so I've already got quite a bit of highlight so this is just like adds a little bit more to it. I just look, put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. I then go in with the um, Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I like to do put this on before I put on like my mascara and stuff. Sometimes when you put that on before it like makes your eye mascara run. Um, I then like to put a bit of eyeliner in my waterline. Um, so I'll do that now. I might have to do, I don't know how easily I'm going to do this off camera. I might have to look down and do it. This is just in the shade, um, in the shade, what am I on about? It's the Maybelline um, eyeliner in lasting drama sharpable pencil it's just pencil eyeliner and then i then go on to my mascara so the mascara i've been absolutely loving is the benefit roller lash i used to always say never spend a lot of money on mascara because i don't think it's worth it and i used to always use a maybelline one got this for christmas and i'm a convert i absolutely love it so what i like to do is um i'll let my eyeliner set for a little bit just so it doesn't go everywhere um but what I like to do is, I like to curl my eyelashes first before um, I put my mascara on. Oh, my eyes are watering now. Ooh. Poked myself in the eye with the eyelash curler. <laughs> I always do that. I'm very clumsy. I always put myself in the eye with my actual mascara as well. So then, once I've curled my eyelash, I'll go in with my mascara. And I like to do like like forward and back motions when putting it on.
What's the difference just off one court? As you can see, there's like a huge difference. Um, so that's just one court I've done. So then I'll go in and um, curl my other eyelash. I've done a coat on this eyelash, so I'll go in and do a second coat on the other one. The mascara just makes like a huge difference to your face. Like if I could only take one makeup product with me, like only use one makeup product for the rest of my life, it would 100% be mascara. Because I feel like even when you've got nothing else on, if you just shove a bit of mascara on, it just completely transforms your face. And I think if you're gonna get anything from this whole haul, get this mascara it's amazing like look how long my eyelashes look i just think it looks great and then i just go and put a bit on my bottom lashes lashes as well um so now that i've done my mascara then go in with my lips so i've been doing loads of different lip combinations at the moment but the one i'm going to do today is um, I've just picked up my eyeliner. Yeah, definitely not gonna be using that on my lips. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the MAC uh, lip liner in Strip Down, and then um, I'm going to be using the Doll Beauty, dropping everything, the Doll Beauty lipstick in Golden Girl. This is a really nice, like, nude colour. And then I can't decide which lips gloss to use. I've got the Morphe lip gloss in pop, which I like, but I've also got the iconic London um, lip gloss, which is like a lip pumping gloss in peekaboo. So I'll decide in a minute. So first off, I'll just line my lips. What I do is, as you can see, I do have quite, I put a bit of like foundation on my lips. I do have quite big lips already. So what I just do, I just go on an actual line. I've got like, you know, like a big ridge on my lips and like, so sometimes like people are like, oh she's so overlining her lips. I'm not, I literally just go on my actual lip line. Sometimes if it is a bit wonky, I might just like do it a bit just to even it up, but I don't purposely overdraw my lips. So I'll just line them now with Strip Down by MAC. This is my lips lined. As you can see, I haven't actually gone over my lip line. I've just gone straight on my lip line. Because like I said, I don't want my lips to make, make my lips look any bigger than they already are. Um, a lot of people always say to me, if you had your lips done, I'm like, no, this is just, I was born with them. I used to hate having big lips when I was younger. I used to always try and make them look smaller. But now I know, I learned just to embrace them. So that's my lip liner done. And now I'm going in with the Doll Beauty Lip Gloss in Golden Girl. I just like to put this in the centre because it is quite light. And I'll just rub my lips together and then use my finger just to pat it in. Just like to blend the lipstick and lip liner together and then I might go in back in with my lip liner just to blend it out a bit and then make that sucker fish noise <laughs> and then lastly I think I've decided I'm going to use the iconic London gloss today and um, this is just like a really nice pinky color like I said it's the shaded peekaboo 
This actually makes your lips tingle a little bit. I think it's one of those ones that meant to like plump your lips. Um, and I'll just go over the top with this. Now that's my lips done. And finally, I just go in with another setting spray. I love the Urban Decay setting spray, just the original all nighter. This is getting to the end of its life. I need to get a new one. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one, actually. Um, so I'll go in with this, set my whole face. I love the feeling of like spraying your face with setting spray. And that is my makeup done. Done and dusted. I look like a changed woman. From like walking dead to like a little bit more alive looking. And um, so this is just like, like I say, just my everyday makeup look. Obviously natural, obviously it's not natural because I've put a lot of makeup on my face, but my more natural looking makeup look. And um, it's very glowy and yeah, I been really liking doing my makeup like this at the moment. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye.